Welcome to the 2022-2023 Student Organization Registration video. In this video, we are going to discuss the registration process for student organizations, including all of the steps that members, advisors, and sponsors need to take in order for a registration to be approved. Organization officers may register their group in Org Central using the following process. Go to Groups on the top navigation menu and select the All Groups button. From here, you will search for your organization. If your organization comes up in the search, select the Group Re-Registration button next to your organization's name. If you do not see the Group Re-Registration button next to your group's name, please contact the Center for Student Involvement by emailing us at studentinvolvement at k-state.edu. If your organization does not come up in the search, you will need to register your group as a new organization using the links at the top of the page. Select either the departmental student organization or the new independent student organization form. In this video, we're going to look at group re-registration. When renewing an organization's registration, you will have the opportunity to review and update the current information for your group, including your group name, any categories associated with your organization, your logo, membership benefits, mission, goals, and constitution. All of these items are required for registration. You may notice an existing constitution already on file for your organization. If the constitution is already associated with your organization, you are not required to upload a new file. However, if your organization has updated your constitution since last year, please upload the current version here. You are also required to list your organization officers and group members. Every registered student organization must identify a president. Every departmental student organization or DSO must also identify an advisor. This is an optional step for independent student organizations. Please note that individuals may only hold one officer position on this form. If the person is already listed as an officer below, you will want to remove them here so that you can add them as a president or advisor above. Similarly, you are required to list five members in addition to the officers you have identified above. Remember, your membership and officer listings in Org Central are your official rosters with the university. You may continue to update and add officers and members to your group after registration is complete. Once you have filled out the required information, select the next button at the bottom of the form. Every group will have an additional registration form to complete depending on their type, DSO or ISO. In this DSO registration approval form example, the organization is required to list their name, their sponsoring college, department, or unit, their advisor's name, and their sponsoring unit head, so their dean, director, or department head. When you start typing an individual's name, suggestions will auto-populate for you from the users list. Please select an individual from the user list and submit the form. This is step one of the registration process. Any advisors that you listed on the form must accept their position assignment. All officers, including your advisors, will be sent an email with a button they can click to accept this position. The email will appear as if it is from campus groups and the subject line will read membership approval. In the email, they can click the accept or deny button this will take them to Org Central where they can approve or deny their position assignment. Additionally, if you are a departmental student organization or DSO, your sponsoring unit's department head, dean, or director will need to approve your submission. They will receive an email prompting them to log into Org Central to approve your organization's sponsorship by their unit. The email will appear as if it is from campus groups and the subject line will read workflow approval. Inside the email, they can click the view workflow button. 
This will prompt them to log into Org Central to approve their step, the DSO departmental approval, in the workflow of your organization's registration. They should click the I approve button. Finally, the person you listed as the president of your organization will be assigned a checklist in the system that they must complete as part of the registration process. You can access your assigned checklists from the Org Central homepage on the left navigation menu under My Activity, My Checklists. When the president is assigned the checklist, they will receive an email from the Center for Student Involvement staff notifying them that this checklist is now available. The student organization registration checklist is comprised of four requirements and two optional items. The first requirement is to watch this student org basics training video and then to pass the student org basics quiz, which they can submit here. One optional item is to download the officer's manual. The officer's manual is located on the CSI group under resources for student organizations. The file can be downloaded from the documents section and is labeled as Officer Guidebook 2022-2023. After downloading the officer's manual, presidents are also required to watch the Org Central training video. They also have the option to download the Org Central mobile app, which we highly encourage. And they are required to complete the annual survey for your organization, and they can access the form here. Organization presidents who have been assigned the registration checklist may refer back to the My Activity, My Checklist section to see their progress on completing the checklist and what items remain to be completed. Once all of these required registration steps have been completed, the Center for Student Involvement will do a final review of the submitted materials and approve or deny a student organization's registration. If your registration is denied, you will receive a notification with additional instructions. When your organization's registration is approved, you will also receive a notification and your group's website will be published for you. More information on your group website is included in the Org Central Officer Training video. Thank you for watching our video. If you need additional assistance, please reach out to the Center for Student Involvement via email at studentinvolvement at k-state.edu.